okay so we will move with our account determination tab So we assign the balance sheet account. Okay. If we go to depreciation tab we are good we have assigned all the GL accounts so all the depreciation AD will get posted to this expense will post it to this we will see all those postings okay so the another important area now is the technical clearing account so this is something very new in new asset accounting this is a part of HP 7 and simple finance so what it does it creates a when you acquire an asset it creates a to do a two accounting entries at the first step it debit the asset credit the this clearing account and at the second entry immediately it debit this account and credit the vendor okay So let's try to understand the use. For an integrated asset acquisition posting, the system divides business transaction into operational part and the valuating part. For the operational part, so now there are two parts. One is operational and one is valuation. For the operational part, the vendor invoice is operational, okay? Because that is something for the normal operation. The system posts a document valid for all accounting principle. Again, the technical clearing account. From technical perspective, the system generates a ledger group independent document. 
but from valuation perspective says for operational perspective system generate word doc one document it says debit technical clearing account and credit the vendor so that vendor invoice can get posted now from valuation perspective what system do is asset posting with capitalization of the asset the system generates a separate document that is valid only for the given accounting principle the document is also posted again technical clearing account for an integrated asset acquisition from a technical perspective the system generate ledger specific document for each accounting principle in this way the system ensure that the technical clearing account has a balance of zero for each accounting principle because at the first step from operational part it actually creates for all ledger groups and then at the second level at the valuation part it create by ledger group so at the end the technical clearing account will be zero for all the ledgers the account does not appear in the balance sheet itself but in the notes on the financial statement since it has a zero balance so it will not appear in the balance sheet because it automatically it gets zero it's an a reconciliation account automatic postings are made no manual postings allowed the requirements are you have created the technical clearing account in chart of account the following prerequisite must be met account is a balance sheet account and must be a reconciliation account it's a non line item it's a non line item managed account and is not allowed to to be defined in account determination for asset accounting it cannot be a part of any account determination table now the reason is operational part is clear okay we have to pay to the vendor we book the invoice from valuation perspective we can have a scenario where for one ledger group we have us we make the asset as asset or we make the purchase as asset and for another ledger group we same purchase as expense okay and this this is very normal you know every country have its own threshold so for us gap it's 5000 dollars threshold and india it's 5000 rupees so if it's something you purchase for 200 dollars for india it's a capital but for us it's an expense so for valuation perspective system generates another entry where you can classify them okay so what we will do is we will create one technical clearing account meeting these three prerequisite prerequisites we'll create one One seven zero 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 one is nothing. Okay, this is good. We have available account. Then we say it's a balance sheet account. We say tech clearing technical. clearing account used for our asset class then we go to control tab where we are clear that it should not it should a recon account and non open item managed account it cannot be open item Okay, so now we can go here and we can say for our company code chart of accounts, and then we have one seven two zero zero one. Oh, we have created in company code. We haven't created it in chart of accounts. So we have F S P one. One seven two, sorry. Tech 
technical clearing then it works okay see the magic and then we assigned it what is the message technical clearing account not allowed in company code with chart of account ka na that is is not defined in company code a01 chart of account ka na so it says it's 172001 is not created in company code f00 oh okay so now we are good we have created account and we have assigned it find different technical clearing account for so if you want to have a technical clearing account by account determination okay so this you define across if you want it for different account determination it should be different you can have that also but there is no requirement for such as such in any case because this is something at the end it gets zero out and then you don't need it next we have integrated transactions alternative document type for accounting principal specific document again a very new thing a very latest thing in ehp 7 in new asset accounting that you can have document type for by ledger group you can say if you are purchasing something then you can say that okay for this ledger group it should be aa but for another ledger group it should be sa so let's try to understand what is the use first it will give more clarity so when you enter a business transaction of our acquisition or down payment to an asset or any retirement system split business transaction again into operating and valuating part so for operating part system post one document and it's ledger independent for valuating part system generates a separate document that is valid only for that accounting principal this means that there is a separate document for each accounting principal right as i said for one it is a asset for another it's an expense posting from a technical perspective system generates a ledger group specific document for each accounting principal that's correct if document splitting is activated system cannot always pass on document type of the entry view to the valuating documents so the entry view is kr when an invoice is booked the reason for this is that document type can be defined so that the items are design, design, designated as required but they only exist in the operational document not in the valuating document there is another reason why you might not need to use different document type your organization might require the valuating documents are posted with different docs type to the operating document types in this activity you can specify document alternative document type for accounting principal specific documents of asset accounting 
so when your document splitting is activated system cannot pass the actual document type let's say kr is the vendor invoice kr document type to the validating document type okay so then in that case you need this functionality where you have to give the old another document type so you go here you say original document type kr derived document type a so whenever there is a vendor invoice the validation document this is your original document this is your derived document this is your operational document this is your validation document and then you save it define separate document type by company code so you can tell this to by company code okay so you can tell aa01 for kr i need a so for my company code i will say whenever there is a vendor invoice on the asset the, the valuation document type should be aa and your original document type can be kr it will be kr because it's a vendor invoice okay So this is about integrated asset acquisitions.